Okay, I'm about to complete my first ritual at level 99. This is iconic because of a couple things. 240 souls per. That's awesome. I'm going to show you why it's so much. So I have necromancy potions in my bag. And you're probably a little confused and scratching your head. That's because if you use a potion, you can boost up to use higher tier alteration glyphs. Which I had a feeling you could do, but you can't. And you can. The only thing you can't do is if you go to alteration glyph in your cape, you can't use the higher tier. So you're stuck using this. Luckily... We're able to get 320% per ritual, which is great. So that means you can get 240 every like 83 seconds, right? So we'll round up to 90 seconds. Hold on. So that's about 40 rituals an hour. About 40 rituals. Times that by 240. That is 9.6k souls an hour. Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to try doing Krill. For the first time at 99 necromancy i wanted to do this earlier but i figured it would be more entertaining to do it at max level or max necrom not max necromancy, sorry, 99 necromancy so that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay so one thing i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna turn revolution off so i know i might get kind of shit for this one but i want to turn revolution <laughs> uh is what i'm gonna do first and i want to learn how to do manual for now so there's that uh so there's that for my general rotation i'm thinking for now i'll open up with finger or touch of death use soul sap um you know soul sap and soul strike when i can i'll use probably spectral scythe off cd because i'll be standing in a corner doing some aoe damage and of course we'll use death grasp um probably bloat and death skull and stuff like that as often as we can for now let's just do an instance encounter and hope for the best i'll show you guys probably one kill and then we'll go from there um we'll just see how it goes right i think that's the best thing we'll do the the typical strat where you sit in a corner uh you know an afk um we'll see i am going to have a ghost which is good so we'll you know we'll, we'll be a ghosty boy here we'll do this and just see how well this goes i mean potentially could be disgusting you, you know you never know <laughs> you never know we are doing a good bit of damage i will say so that's good i do like that and i can uh, this could be a hundred percent no resource usage like no food basically potentially that's kind of crazy i'll be honest um if i remember to use uh, abilities I, I turn revolution on because i feel like i mean i i need to get a proper rotation i don't want to learn a rotation that's not correct but uh i do want to say is you can basically stay here forever as long as you get your ghost out uh you can stay here forever like the ghost is literally just soul split at this point it's i'm not dissing it it's just kind of crazy um and i get that's kind of its point right you know let's go couple kills in we got a gloves of subjugation these are the kind of pieces we want to get to sacrifice. Not sure if I'm going to show the previous clip or not, but basically I just went and am taking advantage of 99 necromancy to make five cloth per subjugation piece. So I well, I'm not going to cry. Got a water subjugation. That that kind of sucks. I'll be honest. Well, I just found out how one hour instance timers work in RuneScape 3. Uh, I had no idea they worked like this, by the way. Uh, but and for Casey who doesn't know, the way the instance timer works is the boss just mobs just don't spawn anymore. Like that's literally it. There's no like, con like convoluted nonsense or whatever to it. You just you, mobs don't spawn anymore. So like the boss, nothing spawns anymore. So like after the hours up, you're just not going to get any spawn. So you can kill whatever's in there. You don't get kicked out. It just doesn't respawn. And I actually kind of like that. I'll be completely honest. Oh man, I got close. I forgot. To to bring a salve me up, but I got him down to 61% before he summoned the first set of skeletons. Also, I only need 46 more boss kills until I can unlock the adrenaline crystal, which I'm super looking forward to. So what I'm going to do, I fear this is a good time. I'm going to actually use this boss as probably for its actual intention, uh, just to learn how to use, uh, you know, how to use revolution. That's what my game plan is. I want to use it to learn revolution. And yeah, that's, that's the game plan. So I'm going to go and... Take advantage of this boss. I'm going to go and kind of just loosely 
do what I feel is rotation and just get used to basically pressing keyboard while playing RuneScape. I think it's the best way to put it. So I just came up with such an easy solution. I feel kind of dumb. Uh, one of the biggest problems with what I would say is necromancy, at least for me, is the fact that uh, I don't, you know, is some of the, or doing revolution with necromancy, sorry, is the fact that some of the abilities you really want to use, but it's difficult to... Uh, on your rotation but it's difficult to because they are thresholds basically so a good example is actually um spectral scythe right you don't want to use spectral scythe off cd you kind of want to use it a little bit more strategically like you know when you want to you know get something i think is the best way to put it uh when you want to you know get the uh the, the soul strikes you know what i mean so okay and this is one algarian thread turned into let's see how many boom five in soul thread all right this is going to be the last soul i'm going to do for a while um we should be at ak souls now which means i should be able to get the next tier of talent tree so what we it's 8.5k shit all right hold on <laughs> give me one second okay now this should be the last ritual <laughs> i just want to get to ak so i can get that tier six stuff i know they're probably gonna add a bunch more stuff in the future but for now we can unlock the next thing of spectral scythe so we can get another spectral scythe thing uh and of course the main reason i want this is spear packed tier three so they can last 18 seconds instead of 12 or 18 extra seconds 12 extra seconds oh my god i'm so dumb i was at the archaeology place i kid you not it had to have been like 20 minutes I forgot my fucking matic I don't ask me how. I literally have no idea how I forgot. Hey, first try, we got it. Let's go, dude. Uh, do I have everything? I do. Let's go. I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. For those of you who don't know, uh, with runecrafting in RuneScape 3, you can actually go and unlock a relic very early on. It only requires 36 archaeology minimum to do. Um, and I've had this for a long time, uh, which completely removes the fact that your uh relics uh your stuff to, your pouches degrade all you have to do is get an abyssal thread which you can which you get from completing one of the things and you get a threads of fate um and i believe if we put this in here i think we just this yeah it'll unlock a new relic power and i don't have a lot of relic powers because i'm lazy as shit that's the actual answer, by the way. So I can go here and go to the Prowl's Protector, Harness Power on my third slot, and now none of my runes will, or none of my pouches will actually degrade, which is gonna be super useful for crafting runes. Oh, and in RuneScape 3, I didn't know this, it automatically uses your pure essence, your essence inside of your thing, which is super awesome. Now, I feel a little dumb, so, if you watch the stream or even seen some of the videos lately, the recording is a little laggy sometimes. And I was and I decided to sit down today since I, you know, I finished Necromancy, etc. I'm like, I'm gonna sit down and see what's going on. Um I ended up having because I couldn't really figure it out, just resetting all my settings and I put stuff low. I was like kind of messing around, making sure I had a quality that I personally find acceptable. I know it's probably lower than it normally is, but eventually I realized something that I think got triggered. When the update happened, they, I'll show you, for anyone who doesn't know, textures, I'm not going to do it. If you put your textures as uncompressed, for some reason, when you're recording, it fucks up OBS. Like, I, I don't know why, but it just makes it go like five frames per second sometimes. And it's not all the time. But it, just, it can happen sporadically or it can happen all the time. And you'll notice this with a lot of people who play RuneScape 3 the, for the first time because I think it defaults to uncompressed. Now, I went in and when I reset my settings, it actually put them to compressed. And I didn't bother to record after that. And I just kept messing around with settings. And then I saw the uncompressing. I'm like, oh, don't tell me. And then I messed around with recording. I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm at a comfortable recording rate right now where the FPS seems to be fine. The, the recording isn't choppy. And this is the old black match completed. I get 45k Necker experience lamp and I don't know, some other stuff. So yeah, I get some quest points. So sweet. So my main game plan going forward is actually maxing this account, right? That is my now 
I want to say primary goal. There's still lots of PVM and other things I want to learn and do on this account. And then I also have the new Iron Man series I'm going to be starting. So there, there's tons of stuff that I still have to do and want to do on this account. Don't get me wrong. But I think the immediate goal is to get the all 99 max cape, right? I think that's going to be my immediate goal. With that, though, that also kind of goes hand in hand with my secondary goal that I want to do, which is tying loose ends with necromancy, right? I don't want to go and completely finish off necromancy because that's a lot of effort right i would have to get all 35k souls i would have to get uh three more subjugation or two more subjugation pieces then i have to go and farm her mod out for like a bunch more pieces and then i have to go and um you know then i have to go and make all the tier 90 gear and the tier 80 gear and then go and you know fight the new boss and farm the new boss out and a whole bunch of stuff and i, d I just don't want to do that right Th that's a lot of effort and i will do some of that stuff but i'm not going to do all of it and I think that's kind of my game plan, and, and that's kind of my thought process, right, is a lot of this stuff does go hand in hand with maxing. For example, 86 archaeology is required for one of the quests. So what my game plan is, is I'll, I'm going to work on for now getting 86 archaeology, and once I have 86 archaeology, I'll complete the quest, and I'll complete the quest after, and then after that, I'll decide, do I want to get the 35k souls and complete all the necromancy quests, or do I want to just keep focusing on maxing? And that's my current thought process in Headspace. Let me know what you guys think, but that's that's basically what I'm thinking right now. And this is 70 archaeology. I can now use the crystal matic in my bank. And I also can turn this into a crystal matic, which is pretty good. So this could be it. <clears throat> I just got a red chin. And I have I just realized how uneventful it is because I, I don't really need it anymore. I'm 99 range, but I guess I'll go up to 120s eventually. So this is a female. We need a male. Hey, let's go, dude. I'm not going to take advantage of this whatsoever, though. I, I, I'm I not doing it on purpose, but I genuinely feel like an absolute flex whenever I'm just doing anything in-game. And I see people who <laughs> aren't even 99 yet. <laughs> they, they have me beat in every other department, though. Let's be, I, I, can't even, I can't even compete. But if we're having a necromancy battle, yeah, go sit down. But if we're having a battle in uh, anything else, I, yeah, I'm fucked, bro. I, it, it's over. Dude, I just saw this dude. Look at him. He is itching for his max cape. You know this dude is staying up like the rest of the night if he has to. To get this last level to get his max cape. I love these new skill releases to just see people like so... You know, like, people like this, where they're just, they're right there. They're just so close, dude. Look at him, he's so close. So anyways, on uh, random pets I get while playing video games, we got something called Archie. Archie. Archie the pet. Let's check it out. You do skilling pet. Uh, Archie. Ah, uh, we're not. It's a mummy. I'm not going to use it, but yeah, that's cool. I got, I got, I got a little mummy. At 817k XP, so probably a spoon. <laughs> it is a spoon. <laughs> First skill back, and I got it. Nice, dude. I'm happy about that one. Um, nice plate number three. I'm actually gonna stay in for this one. Uh, I need two more, so that's pretty good. These runs are going pretty chill. I'll be completely on. And plate number five or four. Wow, sorry. Uh, we have how many kills uh, of bosses? 991. Only nine more to go to unlock the adrenaline crystal. I'm actually kind of hyped for it. I'm so I just got my 1,000th... Sorry, I just got my 1,000th boss kill, which I'm super happy about. We can come over here, and we can now buy the adrenaline crystal. So, awesome. For anyone who isn't aware of this wonderful moment, um, give me a second. Let me redo my inventory real quick. Okay, so the way it works, in case anyone doesn't know, you have these adrenaline crystals, and you can go up to them and you can channel them. And when you channel them, it just gives you adrenaline. And there you go. I now have full adrenaline going into my next boss fight. It's super awesome, and just, I don't know, I love it. I'm super happy to have it unlocked. And we are done. Got spirit mementos on the last one as well. How many kills did it take? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go to our good buddy Herman. 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 We have 106 kills. Our collection log is looking very standard. Okay, we now have everything we need. I even had to craft some of my Asmarines because I forgot. 
Let's go and make ourselves the full tier 80 power armor. I am not actually going to look up what the set effect is, even though I'm pretty sure it's the same, until after I craft everything. So give me one second and I'll get it all crafted. Uh, yeah, so here's the awkward thing. I'm an idiot. Uh, it requires two at this stage, not one per piece. So let me go do that real quick. <laughs> I need how many more? So that's two, four, I need five more pieces. Kid you not, first kill, sorry. Kid you not, first kill, I get a harmonic plate. Very nice. I'm gonna go and just hope I can ride this luck and get the four others I need very quickly, but uh, we'll see. And only a couple kills later, we get a third one now. We're at we're second one of this trip, but third in total. And we've got plate number three for the trip, or four total. Just need two more. Two more to go. I and five out of six has now been acquired. I'm going to alk this bad boy. I wonder if we can get them all in one trip. And an all-in-one trip run. Quite happy about that one. Quite happy about that one. There we go. Let's go make this entire set of armor. Okay, I'm going to make the pants next, just in case I make a stupid mistake. <laughs> so that's the pants. Make the gloves, and then we'll make the boots last because making the boots first would be a strategic decision. And boom, full set of tier 80 power armor. Let's look at this gear, the actual full set. What do we got? That is actually really, really, really cool set of gear. Um, the arm, the bonus chance is 1.5% per one. That's pretty good. So it's a 9% chance of the full set of gear. I believe this should be, boom, 85 farming. I can outgrow torsals, which is absolutely amazing. So I've been doing a lot of archeology span uh, while I'm working on an alt account, by the way. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, so I've been working on an alt account, which is a series you guys probably already wear, but if you don't, it'll come out soon. It's the new Iron Man series, I'm working on it. I just finished recording all the footage for the first two episodes other than B-roll stuff. But while doing that, I am playing on this account and I've been working on archeology. span We've made some decent progress. We're already up to 77, fairly close to 78. So that's good. Uh, I am just AF, super AFK going through. I'm not thinking too much. I'm just at the current excavation site for me and just doing whatever the best one is. I'm just doing that AFK and doing it. We're now at the Warforged Goblin thing or whatever it is, so it's pretty good. So I can finally start getting the Encanto Pickaxe pieces. I've got two out of the five, or out of the four, which is good. Uh, it is four, right? One, two, three, four, yes. I don't have many keys. I only have one key. I don't know where you get them all. I think you have to get them from the specific excavation site is my guess. I don't know for a fact, but that's what I'm saying. It has been a little while since the last regular iron man clip but this is 81 archaeology which is really good because now we can start boosting to start working towards some more encondo pieces so i haven't really informed you guys of what's been going on but i've been doing some archaeology um i'm trying to get up to 99 eventually and while i'm working on the new series i figured i can do some afk stuff like archaeology which is abysmally slow by the way oh my god i I could not imagine doing this any other way. Anyways, regardless, we have all the Mkondo pieces actually needed, and we have a key, but we need to get more. So in order to do this, I'm going to make some... I can boost up two more levels with a cup of soil. Let me show you how to make it. Hold on. Okay, so what you need is, I think, 20 cooking. So it has very minimal requirements. And you need to have one of each type of clay up to earthen clay uh, on you. Then from here you get a cup of tea, so I'm going to make five of these bad boys. So we get five cups of teas, and we just use it on the thing. We can make ourselves, I guess I only got enough for four. And then you go and make yourself some soil, cups of soil. So they go, and what these do are fairly simple. For a short period of time, they boost your archaeology by plus two, um, and blah, blah, blah. So that changes your one point per minute. Yeah, so it lasts for basically a minute for the plus two. So it's... It's not amazing, but it is actually pretty solid if I do say so myself. It's a good way to just kind of get some, uh, if you need to just unlock something really quick, which is what we're going to use it for. So let me head back to where we were. 
which is the Warforged dig site. And there's something that's been looming in the Warforged dig site that I've been excited to try out. And I'll show you guys once we get in here, but I want to show you guys kind of a little bit of everything as we go in. So as we come in, I'm going to start running down. But we can see that there is... I didn't realize this guy was on my... Okay. Oh, uh, he's been here for the entire time. I've been doing archaeology. I did not realize we were friends. Regardless. Um... Uh, hey there by the way <laughs> it's this thing so it requires 83 archaeology in order to unlock it and then you get access to a bunch of other stuff so we're gonna sip a cup of tea and now we can start doing this so we have one minute so we're probably gonna have to use this we have five minutes which should hopefully be enough time and i can always log out if i have to and the barricade is now done so i can enter this and blah, blah. So I don't think it matters which way I go down because I can go back either way. But when you first go in, I believe, hold on, we should be able to, let me look at the wiki super quick. I can turn from the top level to left and right in the dialog box. Okay. So you have to go through both. Okay. So let me head back. And I, th I went, I chose the bottom option. So we'll go left this time. Go and boom yes we got the key so this is the second key that we have the third there's one already inside as well so there's that so now i gotta go look at the other one so one of these other ones requires they all say kind of lower archaeology levels that we can snag them I wasn't really paying attention we got the key so sweet we got it it's pretty darn good so let me look i think the next one i have to go to is in the north section it seems to me that you get each one from like a section and Okay, so while I'm here and getting this key, apparently I can get another key. Uh, so let's go through. Apparently, I think this is it. Northwest tunnel requires 35 engineering. Discover small wonderful smell. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. That's word for it. So these just like cutscenes to let you get the key. Sorry, I'm the other account. Let's see here. And poop yeah, we get the key. Sweet. So that's an easy key. Okay, so I just have to do that to all the tunnels. It's fine. All right, now I'm going to go back to doing this until I get this key because this seems to be going very slowly. <laughs> of course, right when I start watching something, I get the key. So the reason this key took so much longer than the others is this has like a 201 in 225 chance of dropping it's like supposedly from what i've been reading like the rarest one to get so and i fish enough fish to get the guaranteed key so that's pretty good i'm gonna go bank this stuff and then we're gonna go mine the ores for the ore ones and then after that we'll go and do the last guaranteed one. i see well i got it before i finished <laughs> doing all 50 so i'm not gonna complain that's nice the one that's the easiest and the quickest i of course get before 50 um Anyway, so we're going to go through here. Now we have to go through this tunnel entrance. This is the south. Get another one here in a second. Or southwest. Sorry, this is southwest. My bad. Boom. And then we have to go to southeast tunnel, which is going to be here. Over there. I don't even know why I paused. I paused thinking like it was a super far run. It's right freaking here. So this is the southeast one. This, and then I just have the west tunnel and then other one. That's what I don't exactly. Boom, all right, so we got another, we got a key. So we go to the southwest area, but north of here. I think it's over here. Next one. Okay, yes, it is. It's right here. This is, uh, the... I think there's gonna be one more. Okay, this is that one. In the southwest area north of the goblin deformed forge door. Okay. Other and Derp, I'm right here. Oh, where is it? <laughs> it's right here. This should get me. Door. Yep, there's the key. And then I have to go to the actual main entrance, 
over there and then that'll be the last key and we'll be able to open it up so we have 11 keys and the 12th key is already in okay and if i open this door it should use all of my keys uh oh, boom. to the forge let's place all the keys into there this is where we can make an no i think it's uh just the incondomatic maybe other incondo thing at least thematic Oh, wrong lever. I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. I'm so dumb. Holy shit. I'm sure people are screaming at me. There we go. <laughs> Into the forge complete. There we go. So now it's activated. Now I need to actually go and talk to Thurgo and give him my entire life saving and red berry pie. I sh should be able to talk to him and then at some point. Please do. Uh, Matic, here we go. Red berry pie, of course. I have these things on me now. Let's go. Now he's gonna go over, you know, in a cutscene, of course. Boom, I lose 1 million GP and that. And now I have the ability to make myself an Imkondomatic. Let's go do that. Oh, we get an option to go straight to the forge. That's actually really good. We can go straight into the forge, uh, pass through. Dumb again, there you go over here. Use the anvil uh, and you can go and create an Kando pickaxe or Matic. are you but yeah we now have our incando matic which is infinitely better not infinitely, but it's much better so we get uh 10 more precision and one more focus on this bad boy incredible we also need our crystal matic anyways but let's look at this thing honestly i like the crystal one more i'll be completely honest i like the look of the crystal one more all right so with this i'm only going to be eight more relics away from being able to get and make the auto siever, which is going to make archaeology so much smoother. Okay, this is all of the rubber I should need to get the last little bit of artifacts I need. Future, let's go and drop all these in here. And let me actually go to the bank real quick. Put the bank chest here. Put this in here, throw that in there. Grab five, one, two. So, this should, I should have enough to make all eight, which I do. All right, cool. So let me finish making all eight of these here and I will have the achievement done and I'll be able to rank up as an archeologist. So let's get this done real quick. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Holy shit. We now have, did I do my math wrong? Don't tell me. No, no, we're good. We're good. We have all the qualifications. We have all the qualifications. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's Okay, so I'm, oh, there's even a little arrow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is so good. This is, yes, I'm ready to rank up. Let's rank up, baby. It might just, we now are rank associate archeologist. This is huge and I cannot hold back my excitement any longer. This is one of the biggest things for archeology for me to unlock because I've been way too lazy to use port. So let's go and let's do this. So if we come over to over here and talk to Ezreal, we now have access to the, we had the assistant, we now have access to the associate tab, which is gigantic. So here's where things get really, really tough with archeology span and where you have to be careful of spending your chronos is at this point from what I've read. You, you don't want to get everything. This is a misconception. A lot of people will go and be like, I want to buy everything. The main things you want to buy are the archaeologist outfit down the road. We aren't going to get this first, which I know some people might gas up. But we're not getting this one first. But you want to get the archaeologist outfit later down the road. You want to get this. The next thing you want to get is also your Matic Precision Upgrade. These are the, the main things you want to get. And then from here, it completely depends on what route you're going to go. If... You don't have invention. Let's just say you're a fresh account and you're not going to have invention for a while. Then you don't want to go and do this. You're going to want to go and get the soil box upgrade, which is cheaper. But if you already have invention up like I do, then getting the auto screener is what you want to get. And you don't actually want to get the auto screen upgrade. I do want to eventually get these archaeology pieces later down the road, but I will worry about that later. I kind of want to buy it all at once. But for now, anyways, regardless, I want to go and make myself this invention piece. Let me go to Fort Fern 3, see what I need, and I'll catch you guys when. Okay, I just pulled up, and apparently a really good item to assemble is woe leaves, as well as food and bones. I have a plethora of bones I can use, 
but I'm not gonna touch this because it'll probably make people. Let's pull out. What do I have that I actually don't give? Um, let's start disassembling these sailfish real quick. Hold on. Oh yeah, like right away. These magic bows give so much sense out part it's not even funny yeah i am already <laughs> you were already good okay good all right so let's go and make one of the best upgrades from what i'm told for archaeology skilling support auto screener version 1.08 let's craft this bad boy boom let's see here so we have it in our inventory let's check it we have so my understanding of the way this thing works is, yeah, auto screener spits out some more first bond. Yeah, as I do this, it's going to turn. Yeah, oh my god, this is amazing! Holy shit, this is great. Unironically, this is amazing. This is going to make this so much better, and my trips last forever. Like unironically, I'm never going to have to leave these locations again. This is crazy. I love this thing. And I have 80,000 of it. So I can stay in these locations for just an ungodly amount of time. I am so happy right now. It's not even funny. All right. I'm going to go back to doing some archaeology. I'll catch you guys in the next episode where hopefully it'll be 99 archaeology. I doubt it, but you never know. So catch you guys next time. I'm going to go get some food and work on the other series.